Alex Rosen, can you hear me, sir? Yes. Welcome. Uh, this is your debut appearance on the Kill Stream. I appreciate you coming on. Thanks for having me. All right, now let me turn my thing on so you can see me. You should be able to see me now. Yep. Um, okay, very good. Now, first off, I always do this. I can introduce the guest. I had a, a hater one time said, Ralph does this because he's lazy. Uh, no, I don't do it because I'm lazy. It's because I like to let the guests introduce themselves uh, and kind of give their own backstory uh, on how they not necessarily got here to this show, but got to be who they are online, etc. cetera. Um, so what got you into catching pedophiles? What got you into the, um, the online business, I guess you could say? Well, I'm 24 years old right now. I know I look a lot older, but, um, you know, I've been doing this for five years. So seeing a lot of dick pics will kind of age you pretty badly. <laughs> and I started doing this when I was 19. Um, we have a group called Predator Poachers. We catch online child predators across the country. Um, we have arrests in 46 states, convictions in 40, and we get everybody um, into all ages, unfortunately. Um, we usually we pose as a minor to go catch these people, and uh, yeah, we, we then uh, approach them on camera, and we turn over that evidence to law enforcement, and very often it ends up in an arrest, and uh, yeah, so here we are. Now, let me ask you about this. Well, we'll get into the, you know, I'm not trying to drag into my own beast, but it happened to intersect with uh, uh, one of my favorite shows recently, but I, but I'll get to that later. Um, wh what are the reasons that sometimes they don't get convicted or the police don't pick them up? Like, what are the uh, the vague, uh, vague, uh, the differences in uh, state laws that prevent some of your evidence from being used, et cetera? Well, um, the main thing it comes down to when they don't get prosecuted is just there's some district attorneys, no matter what the state law is, that just don't want anything to do with civilians bringing them evidence of a sexual predator. Like, um, we, you know, we have a city, Huntsville, Alabama, where we have, I think, like eight arrests alone in Huntsville, Alabama, even though it's 13 hours from my house. And the DA knows who we are. They're very aware of what we do. The cops like us there. They follow us and everything. And so it's very easy there to just bring whatever we got and they get prosecuted. Now, the flip side of that is Great Falls, Montana, where we've been there three times. We've had solid evidence each time. The state law kind of matches with what we got to do. And cops didn't show up to any of those. and They want nothing to do with us um, without even looking at our evidence. So it really comes down to what the district attorney wants to do or doesn't want to do. But some state law, like so in most states, um, you know, we can pose as a minor online, a predator goes to meet that minor, and it's an arrest. Right. Like in Texas, where I'm from, it's like that. As long as they believe they're talking to a minor, they can get arrested, um, you know, if they say the right things. But in some states like Ohio, Maryland, Tennessee, and some others, um, they have to believe they're talking to a minor, and it has to be a real kid or a cop. It cannot be a civilian posing as a minor. So um, that kind of limits us in those states. However, we do have a lot of child pornography arrests in Ohio. Like we just got a sex offender convicted there a few days ago. Actually, he took a 17 year plea deal. Um, Nathan Riggins Jesus. in Chili Coffee, Ohio. So if we get him with child porn, we're good no matter where we are. A 17 year plea deal. That means he was facing a lot of time. Uh, oh, to yeah. Say, yeah to he, he was a sex offender. So, I mean, he, he was kind of in some deep shit already. He, he raped like a 15 year old or something. Oh, okay. Like that. Yeah. I mean, but to take a, a 17 year plea deal is not a break. Uh, no, right? like, no, it's not. no, it's not. So, to take one of those means you're in some deep shit. Um, okay. So, first off, before I get into the Kino Casino stuff, what happened last night uh, with you? I think you were with uh, uh, Jadion last night. Uh, Jadion, I don't want to mispronounce, but uh, what happened last night? Yeah, so last night when I was supposed to be on here, unfortunately, um, I was anticipating coming on, but the pedo um, surprisingly works, which we don't run into too much. <laughs> nine to five. So um, I, I was really shocked. I mean, you know, I know he was into dogs, into toddlers and all that stuff. But the most shocking thing he told us was that he has a job. So <laughs> he he doesn't get off work till 530 p.m. So he had to be in the area, you know, just scouting his shit out for a while. And um, his name is Joseph Yaws. He's not under arrest quite yet. However, he has no electronic devices in his possession at the moment because uh, San Jacinto County did do a search warrant on his house. Um, so he was going after our 12 year old decoy. He did not want to meet up, actually. He was a little bit careful. He didn't really cross the line sexually with our 12-year-old decoy. However, he expressed his interest in bestiality and sent a picture of him jacking his dog off um, when he was his dog. Yes. And he also had, you know, Telegram, which, you know, Telegram 
you know, I don't, I don't agree with the founder being arrested, but it's not, it's not a rumor that it's used for child pornography very often. So based on that, we went to his house, we interviewed him. He admits that he jacks off his dog about twice a month, which, you know, you can probably translate that to twice a day. I mean, they never tell the full truth um, to the point of finishing confirmed that was his hand in the picture he sent admits to bestiality and admits to viewing child pornography as young as infants and toddlers. So he said all that in front of the cops as well when they rolled up. So, you know, they have all of his phones, devices now. I anticipate he gets arrested very soon, but um, he was quite the character. Now, okay, Let, let's talk about, uh, we, we, I have a lot to talk about. I figured out, maybe we could do an hour. I don't know. I don't want to keep too much of your time. Yeah, whatever, um, however long it goes. I'm, I'm yeah. here for it. Okay, very cool. Um, now, there was a recent bus in Tennessee. I, I forget the um, the, the area. Um but um, the guy brought up the Kino Casino, asked if you were a viewer of the Kino Casino, which you immediately said no. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I've never, you know, he, he was he was like twice my age. He watched my channel. Yeah, and for he years. watches like all this, all this, I guess, it's kind of the drama stuff. I don't yeah. even know about it. I don't really watch too much TV or YouTube stuff. Right. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, I watch what I need to watch. Right. Uh, as right, far as I'm right. concerned, you know, some of these people talk shit about me or whatever. But uh, he he specifically mentioned the Kino Casino. And you're like, no, I don't watch that. And then he went into um, uh, Review Tech, who I'm not a fan of of, re, 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 of Review Tech either. Uh, I think he's kind of a piece of shit. Um, I agree. But like the stuff he cited was like that's kind of like it was just photographs from the beach uh that he had taken of his wife's family like i i, I wouldn't call the guy a pedophile i'd call him a fucking freak but uh mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't call him a pedo uh but uh, the kino casino have been trying to hammer that home basically um for a while but really what i want to ask you about that is he ended up getting arrested uh at the end of that um encounter uh do you know the status of that individual well, unfortunately, it was in Tennessee, so he didn't he didn't get arrested on the spot. Uh, they took his phone and everything because he admitted to viewing and receiving child pornography. But they did detain him in cuffs. But all he could do is take his phone because our chat logs, even though he sent a picture to who he believed to be a minor, um, he could not get arrested for that in the state of Tennessee. If he was in uh, Virginia, he'd be absolutely nailed to the fucking wall. I mean, we have a ton of arrests in Virginia, but Tennessee's tough for us. So um, I don't believe he's been arrested quite yet. But if they find stuff on his phone, which I would hope they would you know he seemed to be a little bit careful um he, he was de desperately trying to show you his phone and show you kino casino stuff and show you this and check my deleted folder which was kind of curious it's like mm, like maybe you already cleared that of course forensic teams uh, at the police department uh, you know they have ways to even if you delete stuff from your deleted folder um, they have ways to to recover stuff like that. Um, sometimes, it, yeah. It, yeah, sometimes, yeah. Uh, depending on how um, how skilled they are, uh, but um, so he's he's not in custody now, to your knowledge. That is correct. Okay. Uh, well, that's unfortunate uh, because uh, you know Kino Casino, one of my favorite shows, of course. Uh, one of their uh, top viewers being caught, top supporters actually donated thousands of dollars to their show, uh, you know, being caught trying to m meet up with a 12 year old. Now, what exactly, what are the details of that? What are, uh, we watched the video, but like, I, I guess go into it a little bit more. Um, like, what, what was he angling towards? I guess fucking a 12 year old girl was the main point, but he said he was just going to give her a, a hug and a kiss on the cheek yeah. uh, and uh, and a Pepsi, I believe is what he said, uh, which I have a hard time believing, but right, right. I I've never, I've never met a lady off the internet to give her a hug and a kiss and a Pepsi when, you know, we we're back in the dating app days. Uh, that just never happens. And it doesn't happen with these pedos either. Um, I will say he sent a penis picture to who he thought was a 12 year old and I didn't really interview him too much on his intent with the 12 year old because it doesn't matter what he said in the messages in Tennessee. I really try to hammer down the child porn. So if you all saw the whole thing, you would see I barely even skimmed through the messages because it yeah. didn't matter too much. But if we were in Virginia, I'd be going through like pretty much every message be like, what, what do you mean here? It's just different on the state. But um, yeah, he knew who I was um, coming in. Like, you know, I use the name Gordon Flowers when I talk to these people. And he asked in one of the chats, do you have an uncle named Gordon just off randomly off the bat? 
And, you know, that kind of made us sus, like, oh, this guy probably knows who I am, but he's still risking it anyway. I just goes to show he wasn't, you know, fucking Pepsi. I mean, he was so into underage kids. He knew who I was, watches us on Rumble, and still came to meet. And he he wasn't using his real name online either. I mean, we still found out who he was. I mean, there's really doesn't matter if you use your real name or not. But um, he was following a ton of child porn trading pages, not bl- pages that blatantly say I'm trading child porn, but ones we know at this point that would be doing that, such as like 14, like a page called 14 year old slut or shit like that. Those are yeah. always always signifies they're probably trading child pornography. So um, that gave us en- enough confidence to go interview him in person. And, you know, obviously he knew uh, the tricks I was going to pull out and didn't admit to. All that I wanted him to admit to, but he still obviously admitted enough for them to take his phone and go through it. So that's what counts. So hopefully he he is um, eventually brought to justice. Uh, they do have his electronic devices. Uh, unfortunately, uh, that is a common theme of the Kino Casino audience uh, filled with pedophiles. But I won't get into that because I don't. I'm not trying to drag you into that beef. But uh, I just found it very uh, hilarious that he specifically brought up the Kino Casino. Uh, it was like, hey, look at this, and what about Review Tech? And I'm like, okay, all right, wow, this is mind blowing. Um, so uh, I did have a question come in, and I'll play it. And I think you should be able to hear it. It all was right. already a question that I had asked for you, uh, you know, planned to ask you. Um, so uh, I'll let it go through. It's from Galactic, good supporter. Galactic what was the most messed up hunt you've ever been on? What was the most messed up hunt you've ever been on? Yeah. Well, I would say there's a few. Um, the most recent messed up one was Harry Phillips in League City, Texas. Um, he got arrested for solicitation of a minor, which is basically meeting our 12-year-old girl for sex. Um, that's not all. That's not going to be all of his charges, though. That's just what they got him with that night because they could. But Harry Phillips is a 21-year-old, and we've noticed with the younger, the youngest ones, they're always the ones that are like the sickest because they have access to the sickest pornography. You know, they know how to navigate shit that a boomer wouldn't be able to. So they just find all this fucked up shit. So Harry's preference, we catch a lot of people that watch videos of infants and toddlers, but for it to, for that to be their preference is a little bit more rare than say like a 10 year old girl or something like that. So Harry's preference for sure was infants and toddlers. Um, he babysat kids when he used to live in California. He moved kind of to uh, League City, Texas, where like 30 minutes from my house in Houston. And when I interviewed him, not only did he admit to wanting to do sexual things with the 12-year-old girl that he was coming to meet, he also admitted to um, watching pornography of babies and toddlers, which that's not uncommon um, for the people we get, that is. And the kicker with him is he, he maintained that he touched no kids. But I told him, basically, you know, I asked him, what babysitting app did you use to go find, you know, uh, your jobs? He told me the app. He's like uh, hairsitter.com or something like that. And I just basically bluffed him. And I told him, look, man, we have all those records saved. That's the account that we had for you. And I told him, look, I'm going to go to L.A. and go interview every single kid you babysat. So I don't want to hear the same story twice. We know shit happened. And he bought that bluff. Obviously, I'm not going to go to L.A. and go find those kids because we don't even have the records (laughs) of anything that we had on (laughs) sitter.com. But he bought it. I was very convincing, and he admits to molesting a one-year-old when he was Jesus changing his diaper Christ. and a two-year-old in the bathroom. So that was the most recent fucked up one. But I'd say the most fucked up might be Clayton Tanner in Cheyenne, Wyoming. We caught him in uh, 2022. He's currently doing three to eight years in Wyoming Department of Corrections. Um, he came to go meet an 11-year-old girl uh, who he thought would be one and her infant sister, and he brought a knife to chop them up and drink their blood, and he wanted to shit and piss in their mouths. And he admitted to all that. You can just Type in Predator Poachers Clayton Tanner on Google. The article will be there and all that stuff. But he only got three to eight years. He's 22 years old, and he's going to come right back out and do it again. Oh, and yeah, and for people who don't know, in a lot of these states, um, you only do 50, 60% of your time. Yeah. Uh, oh, and yeah. And so, like, when you hear three to eight years, like, um, you know, he might be out in one to two, uh, right? Like, that's, that's literally how it goes. Um, and I think Maryland's – specifically it's like 55 percent of your time uh, now in the federal penitentiary you do 85 percent, and there's no yeah. parole and that's just how it is there is no parole it's 85 guaranteed but 
and we'll be talking to a J Sixer later on who had to do 85 uh, percent of his time. But uh, in these states, it varies. Like a lot of times, it could be you know uh, 50, 65. Uh, and so when you hear these sentences, don't think they had to do all that time because most That's likely true. they didn't. Uh, and they get credit for good time too. Uh, some good time, quote unquote, uh, sometimes as well. So um, now I'll, I'll let this one go through too. Um, this was the next question here from the chat. You tell that sent $5. I saw the guy go to his car for a gun. How dicey has it got? Anything that doesn't make the cut. Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, well, that that's pretty much been... Do you stay, do you stay strapped? Um, well, in Massachusetts, in that state, we couldn't really be strapped because the law doesn't allow us to carry. So it's a minimum, minimum of one and a half years if you're illegally carrying without a permit in Massachusetts. Fuck. So we do stay strapped in Texas and, you know, states that have a semblance of freedom left. But Mass, we were not strapped. And, you know, that pedo who reached for his gun, I mean, he got charged with that. It was an illegal gun. Go figure. But, yeah, man, he was chasing us with his gun. We had to run, and we split off into three. And I was hiding in this, like, apartment building. And um, Holy shit. Yeah, he called me on my phone. And the reason he had my phone number is because, you know, the whole thing of me meeting him was, like, delivering a package to him. So I called him on my phone. And he calls me in, like, in this demonic voice. He's like, where are you? And I was, dude, I was <laughs> freaking shaken up. But luckily, the uh -huh. cops came quick and arrested him. So thank God. So, but you do stay in, in the states. You're allowed to have protection. You you, you have yes, that protection. Yes. Yeah, I, I would imagine that that's the safe course of action yeah. uh, when dealing with these freaks. Um, so uh, you you got I won't say got known, but um, one of the more famous uh, encounters uh, was with EDP. Uh, yeah. uh 440 whatever the fuck his name is four, four, five, yeah. Uh, yeah 445 whatever the fuck his name is um <laughs> i don't know the full backstory you know hold on wait there's another let me let me skip that for a second and, and then i'll go back to it but um how did that come about and how did he even enter your orbit in the first place well, so a lot of people, um, you know, we caught him in April 2021. So a lot of people like Cold Raven and, you know, Master at Work, they've been calling him a pedo for a long time before we knew anything about it. And, you know, they tried to tell me that he's a pedo, this and that. And honestly, being a 21-year-old who was a fan of EDP in high school, I didn't really want to believe it. But, yeah. you know, we sicked a decoy account on him anyway. And, you know, he pursues said decoy account going after a 13 year old girl. He sends tons of penis pictures, masturbation videos, um, even goes to meet up and arrange sexual meetings, like wants to throw us in a sex dungeon and all that stuff. So <laughs> it was shocking. Um, he obviously has done this before, maybe not to the extent of meeting one off the Internet, but to the extent of talking to underage kids. And that's what kind of made us throw the account his way. And, yeah, we talked to him in person. He admitted his intentions and... You know, unfortunately, Kern County sheriffs didn't want to do anything about it, despite us turning over everything we had. Yeah, and that's unbelievable that he got away with that. Like, I just can't understand, and it's all right there too. And oh yeah, yeah. It, and there was a second time too that Jitty on a Skeeter Jean caught him. This time, yes, he to a real minor, and whatever jurisdiction didn't want to do anything either. That dude is so slippery. And I wish I knew about Kern County before he caught EDP. That was our first bus in Kern County, but Kern County doesn't take up any of these cases. Like we've caught. Two sex offenders in Kern County, uh, California. They didn't want to touch it. They didn't even show up to the call. Uh, we caught another guy there in Inyo Kern, which is like way out in the desert. Um, Kern County Sheriff shows up, and he scolds me as the pedo is deleting the child porn in his front lawn, admits to getting infant porn very often, daily. First off, I'll ask this question next that came in, but what – why are they like this, the authorities? Why do you think they don't want to take these cases up? Is it is it uh, malevolence or just uh, they don't want to deal with it? I, I'm I'm not sure. I think it's different reasons for different ones. Like I think some of it is they just don't want to do their job. They're just lazy. Yeah. Some of it is they might genuinely believe that we can't bring prosecutable shit, which is obviously untrue. We have prosecute. We have uh, convictions in forty different states, including in California. But 
I don't know. And some of it could be because they're just pedophiles themselves. Like I know. <laughs> that's that's what I wonder. Thing, yeah. Like that's... really, really, I can't really think of another reason besides that. Especially with the ED. I don't know. The EDP thing hit so hard, and it's like it's all right there. How did this guy get away with this? And then he got busted again, and it's like he's still out on the streets. He's still like making videos and shit. Oh like, I... yeah, and it would have made the DA look so good too to take sure. The yeah, well, it's a it's a mega dunk. It's a slam dunk, right? Like it's a, oh, yeah. a big time YouTuber. Uh, I mean, I I don't know. It's just really strange to me. Uh, and, then, and then hold on, I'll, I'll read these out. Sunny D said, "Alex, can you talk about?" And this happened recently, I believe, if I, if I recall correctly. Um, oh, Alex, can you talk about the fella? Oh, I saw this. Uh, who took himself out when he went back inside? Yeah, so we caught a guy named Tony Letcher in South Dakota. That's one of the four states we don't have an arrest in, and we still don't have an arrest because he killed himself. <laughs> well, yeah. um, he, so he was a guy talking to our 12-year-old decoy, and he was, he was pretty gray area. Like He was just asking us for nudes. He wasn't really arranging a meetup or anything like that. But obviously, if you're asking who you think is a 12-year-old for nudes, then you know, you're know you probably into child pornography. So he Most came to his likely, house yeah. with that intention of trying to bust him for child pornography. And he admits child porn of all ages, um, admits of saving it to his device as well. And yeah, I mean, we call the cops. It goes very smoothly. He admits to it. He admits it in front of the cops. But when I'm talking to the cop behind my car, that's when Tony or Donald, he, Donald Anthony Letcher or Tony Donald Letcher, I don't know. He, yeah, he goes by like two names. But he slips into the house, and we hear, like, a small pop. And, you know, my camera guy goes to the window, and he sees, like, him laying on the floor with, like, a hole, like, a hole in his head and the blood coming out. Fuck. And, uh, yeah, he was declared dead at the hospital a couple hours later. Like, he was nuts. Like, they flew in a helicopter and all that Sunday shit. It was, like, a small-ass town, so they had to bring him to uh, – they had to bring him to Sioux Falls, you know, for medical treatment. But unfortunately, it was not an arrest because he died. Well, he's dead. Yeah, you can arrest a dead guy. I mean, I guess you could, but uh, it wouldn't uh, it <laughs> wouldn't do much good, right? Uh, okay. Uh, also, they said my mic's a little bit high. I'll turn it down a little bit. Um, okay. Now, uh, let's see here. Uh, Assmaster33 says, why are the... Uh, constabulary suck faggots. Uh, I guess he means why do they suck? Uh, constabulary is another term. I think that's a British term for for police, basically, yeah. right? Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Some of these are just mind my, my numbing. Why they don't bust them? You have them live on camera. You know, I know certain states, you said Maryland, you know, if a statute's on the books that it has to be a legit minor or whatever, okay. But, right. like, some of these states, they just, like you said, I, I attribute it more to laziness, but maybe they're actual pedophiles themselves, too. Like, I mean, I, who could say it? But um, it, it's like, I, I don't know, especially the EDP thing. That's just a slam dunk. Yeah, that uh, was baffling. That was, yeah. a, that was a very easy slam dunk. I mean, EDP would have taken the first plea deal offer to him. Oh, for sure, dude. Yeah, of course. I mean... <laughs> Well, I, you know, I've had my own experiences uh, with the law and uh, had a state-sponsored vacation of my own. Uh, wow. And uh, I can tell you, uh, which is not a secret, by the way, uh, the two most unpopular types of people uh, on the block, on the pod, are child molesters and snitches. And so... Uh, you don't want to be a child molester in jail. Uh, and so he would have took the first plea deal. He would have been in protective custody immediately. Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, that, that would have been his life. Uh, so uh, I'll play Sunny D's question here. Some of the stupid Sunday sent $2 on, on Rumble. Also, on racing can you talk machine. about how some of the stupid ones let you have their phones <laughs> to hook up to your phone erasing machine? Ha ha. <laughs> Yeah, so the guy we caught yesterday, for example, I, I like to tell him that we have a machine in the car, a.k.a. my phone charger, that can erase the child <laughs> pornography off their phones. <laughs> and somehow they fall for it. I don't know why they think a Toyota Sienna minivan with, like, an iPhone cable can just erase child pornography. I don't know where they think I got that from. But, um, yeah, so, for example, the guy yesterday, um, he had child porn saved to his phone at one point. He did actually wipe it uh, a week or so before we got there, he claimed. But it wasn't physically on there, but obviously it's an Android, easily recoverable. And I just told him we could just take all the data off there, just hook up your phone to the machine. And it, he just hooked his phone up to my Android charger in there. And, you know, he just gave us his phone passcode. And, you know, we're just holding it till the cops came. And then the cops came. And he's like, oh, my God, guys, you fucked me. You fucked me, man. And then, <laughs> unbelievable. 
Well, why would they think you would do Rootman that? Sent five anyway, on Rumble. here, let me let's subscribe play. to Predator Poachers. Between Ralph and PP, you will have more than enough content every day. That's true, one hundred percent. I agree with that. Subscribe to Predator Predator Poachers. Uh, poachers, <laughs> not Poachers. <laughs> well, you do approach them, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but uh, Predator Poachers. Uh, I mean, the content is is unending, which is actually, uh, I mean. It's great content, but it's also unsettling that there's so much of it, right? Like, I mean, there's so many pedophiles out there, um, and I, I, I don't know if everybody realizes that. I guess they do now, uh, right? Like, I mean, um, what's the most surprising uh, position of power or, like, stature that somebody held um, that you ended up catching in one of these, uh, basically a sting? Oh, definitely the head of the LGBTQ Democrats in Maryland. I would never have expected that from him at all. <laughs> no, most surprising would be, man, I'm trying to think. I mean, we've caught T. I I mean, but it's like I'm like talking about like the people around kids that we've caught, but it's like it's not surprising it's one of them, I guess. Oh, man. I mean, firefighters, I guess you could say. Maybe. Maybe firefighters. Firefighters sent $5 on Rumble. But it's like, yeah, is any of it surprising anymore? Not to Keep us. Yeah, I mean, well, you know, uh, unfortunately, a lot of these uh, pedophiles put themselves into positions where they can more easily molest children. Right. Uh, and, you know, you talked about the babysitter, coaches, uh, Boy Scouts had a scandal, you know, priest to be honest you know uh and so they they put themselves in positions of trust where families trust them with their children teachers uh etc um and that's not to bes besmirch all those people but right. um frequently a pedophile if they're looking to to get easy access to children will will try to gain gain access to those positions uh right, right, and so right. I don't know. It's 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 really disturbing just how many there are out there, though. Um, it, yeah, the easy part's finding them. Uh, the tedious part is dealing with them, chatting them up, and all that stuff. But yeah, finding a pedophile online—I mean, anybody can do that if they just take five minutes. Genuinely, it's very easy to come across one. <laughs> how crazy is that? Also, hold on. There's there's another one coming Stanks in. Thanks, Respecter sent five dollars. Has up. Rosen ever nabbed any homosexual comos? Seems oh, like a good market. Also, Ralph's friend Persip thinks you're pretty cute. I don't. Make of that what you will. <laughs> I don't. He's gay, by the way, but don't. Well, uh, <laughs> did he really say that the other night? I don't remember. Anyway, um, but um, ha have you nabbed? You talked about the LGBTQ head, whatever there. So I, I'm assuming at least one. But how many have been, uh, you know, homosexuals? Like, what what is the percentage of like guys going for little girls versus guys going for uh, little little boys? And then also, have you ever nabbed any women? Yes, and yes. So what we, ca we catch more straight pedos because I have more female decoys. Like I got, yeah, I got two. Well, one of my guy decoys. He just kind of looks, kind of looks for people on Telegram that we think are associated with CP. So he's not really decoying per se. He's just kind of searching around. But one of my other, so I have like one okay. actual male decoy who poses a boy online. Or actually two, but you know, it's a she has a it's a she, but she does like the tranny thing or whatever. Um. But we have a lot more female decoys than males, so we obviously catch a lot more straight pedos because that's just who we have working for us, just females. Right. But percentage-wise, I mean, yeah, it's not it's not fake that gay guys make up more uh, of a percentage of pedos than straight guys. Like Harry Phillips, for example, the one-year-old he molested, that was a boy, and he was into guys, I think, more than girls, but he had a thing for both. Um but yeah, we've caught a lot of gay guys this year. Like we caught an individual named Scott Ludicky in Kansas City back in uh, April. He was a sex offender, just got out, just got out of prison. Yeah, he was on parole for child pornography. We caught him again with child pornography. We've noticed with the gay guys, they're very, very, they're a lot more child porn connected than the straight guys. Like the straight guys, you could catch some boomer from Facebook who has no idea how to even access that. But the gay guys always have their networks and are always like trading that shit around. So I think the gay guys um, are a lot more severe. Uh, more sophisticated with their 
Um, yes, more sophisticated with uh, their predation. <laughs> yeah, with their procurement op your, uh, operations. Um, and I uh, saw Rick Harrison says, what do you think draws pino, uh, pedos to the Kino Casino? He doesn't know about the Kino Casino. Uh, he doesn't watch it. Uh, well, because pedos like to take a gamble. So, I mean, maybe that's why he goes to the casino. I don't know. <laughs> Also, the thing that blew my mind about that, of course, you know, I have beef with those guys uh, at the Kino Casino. I'm just so what, is, what is the beef with them? You could give me like a quick uh, rundown. Well, they, I mean, I could give you the short version. Uh, go ahead, go ahead. Hold on, Sunday let me $2 let this go through first. One of my favorite catches was the guy whose mom was trying to kick the shit out of him the whole time you were there. <laughs> you can talk about that first, and then I'll give you the beef with the Kino Casino. All right. Yeah, so that was Bradley Gonzalez in Fort Gaines, Georgia. Um, he still got arrested, too, which was great. His mom, you, you know, so his when I told his mom what was going on, because there's no other way I was going to talk to him, um, it just wasn't going to happen. So I just had to go through the mom. And the mom was like, I hate pedophiles. I was molested as a kid. So she brings his ass outside. Turns out he was a sex offender, which we did not know. It did not show up on his truth finder. We should have done a better job just checking the registry ourselves. And... Um, yeah, he admits to child pornography, and that's what he's on the registry for. He admits to child pornography and to talking to who he thought was a fourteen-year-old girl, and he got arrested for attempted rape of our decoy. And I hope they add child porn, but apparently, he factory reset his phone under our noses. I don't know how he did that because his phone was like I tried to like keep separated from his phone the whole time. It must have been slick. But um, yeah, he's currently in jail. I think I don't think she bailed him out or anything like that. He had like seventy five thousand dollar bonds, so she had to come up with seventy five hundred. And you know, she's living off the taxpayers. So I don't think that's happening. But she beat the shit out of him. Uh, his mom did, and yeah, it was nice to go watch her like get a piece of wood from the trailer, sort of hit, hitting him with it. <laughs> but I started to notice that she was kind of going overboard and telling me like, "You don't have to worry about the cops. I'm going to take care of him." And I was like, "Ah." Uh, and then, you know, a lot of people, I didn't, I didn't pick up on this until after, but a lot of people started kind of, you know, thinking they had like some type of ancestral relationship because the stuff she was saying, like, and I could see this too. That's what the investigator thought as well. Uh, the stuff she was saying was like, you know, I don't talk to minors. And she's, but and then Bradley's like, but you bring guys over. And he's like, yeah, but not in relationships. I just fuck them. Like very weird stuff for a mom and son to be talking about with each yeah. other. So <laughs> makes you really think. Uh, yeah, it does make you think. Uh, and I see uh, here. Uh, so I'll explain uh, sh a sh very short version of uh, the Kino Casino beef. Um, yeah. Basically, Andy Worski and I used to be colleagues. He's a co-host on the show. Mm -hmm. um, his other co-host weighs about 800 pounds and uh, anally nice. raped a cat with a steel rod uh, yes. and killed the cat. Um, so he's kind of a sick individual himself. Ashton Parks is his name. Uh, Andy Worski, a.k.a. Andy Perez, is his real name. We used to work together and do shows together, uh, and he was on the Kill Stream as a co-host. Uh, he had his own show. Um, you know, he's been around for a while, like I have. Um, he forced his girlfriend into an abortion, which, you know, whatever, uh, you want to think about that. Uh, I'm not in favor of that, but right. he did that. Um, he stealthed a woman, which is actually rape. Uh, if, if you know what stealthing is, is basically pulling off a condom. He admitted to this on air, by the way. There's right, a, clip, right. a clip. So he, pull, he admitted he thought this was a funny story to tell on air which it's not, <laughs> but he thought it was funny. Uh, and so he took off the condom while he's having sex uh, and, and stealth this chick, uh, and which is basically rape. Uh, mm -hmm. And so um, he thought, uh, hold on, I'll skip this so I can finish my, my, my narrative here. And so he thought that was funny to tell. Anyway, really, I shouldn't have had him back on the show after all that anyway, but, uh, you know, it's kind of a madhouse type show here anyway. And so mm -hmm. he came back on the show and his career was in tatters. I lifted him up from the gutter. Uh, he would be nothing without me. Uh, literally, I, he was streaming to 20 people. And so I saved his career and which was the biggest regret of my life, maybe. Uh, but uh, I brought him back up. And so then he he. Stabbed me in the back, started his own show, uh, the Kino Casino. Um, they 
falsely have accused my mother of molesting me, my father of molesting me. They falsely accused me of rape. Uh, they have made up every. They accuse me of having dentures, which is like really weird. Uh, I don't yeah. have dentures. Uh, I, I Rick like that. That's that's a lower tier thing. But basically, any lie you can think of uh, that could be made up about me uh, mm -hmm. has been said on that show. Uh, and so that's why we have the beef. Uh, and uh, that's why I thought it was hilarious that that guy specifically mentioned the, the pedophile, right? Specifically mentioned the Kino Casino. And they also de defended VTubers. Now, uh, recently. What's a VTuber? You don't know what that is? Okay, well, I'll explain it. Um, a VTuber. Now, there are some adult, and I'll play these super chats too, by the way. Don't, don't worry. But uh, a VTuber is. Sometimes they're adult themed, uh, like cartoon avatars. There's a female behind the voice, right? It's like a cartoon, mm -hmm. uh, an anime uh, style cartoon on the screen that reacts and and you know according to their body motions and, and stuff like that. Right, right. Uh, and a lot of times they can be adult themed, and you know that's not as big a problem, whatever. Uh, but a lot of them are. Uh, lollycon themed if you know what lollycon is yeah of uh, course. And, you deal with that a lot with these people yeah they're, they're lolly themed and they're they're in the style of l little girls and um they um basically i mean it's a pedophile audience uh watching this i mean there's no other reason to watch uh, a little girl moaning and you know acting like they're getting off sexually and talking about their sexual fantasies and stuff like that i mean uh so that that's uh the vtuber thing uh, a lot of the most popular vtubers are the lollicon ones uh unfortunately uh, but there are adult theme ones you know i you know i can kind of let that slide whatever you yeah. know if, if it's an adult theme but uh, a lot of the most popular ones, actually the most popular ones, are lollycon themed. Shockingly enough, I know right. that's a shock to you. Uh, and so they also defended uh, the VTubers as well. So uh, a lot of their audience uh, is kind of made up of, of those type of, of people. Right, right. Honestly, uh, not, not all. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna. Put, say everybody, but uh, uh, yeah, uh, Worski in particular uh, defended the VTubers. Uh, so, uh, you know, I didn't. I, I, I went to war with them uh, because I think it's sick and it's sick that it's allowed on YouTube. They make a ton of money. I, I, I don't know if you understand this or not. You don't know, seem to know about the VTubers, but uh, mega Japanese corporations are behind this uh, and they have free reign on YouTube uh what's that gara gura or whatever the shark one is clearly like a three-year-old four-year-old girl uh who is you know making sexual noises and talking about fetishes and, and stuff like that and that, that's not the only one that's the tip of the iceberg there's another mm -hmm. one um i can't think of uh the name right now they just got banned from twitch recently um but like they make like baby sounds like um like you talked about the people viewing child um you know infant porn right, or right, whatever right. like it's like it's like that except in cartoon format um somebody in chat might remember that that uh, that name i can't think of the, the name right now pippa pipkin pippa pipkin is another one uh who, who said that um VTubing was uh, safe and legal uh, child pornography, basically, is, is how they described it. Uh, and literally, that's what they said. That's a direct quote. Uh, and so, obviously, I don't support that. <laughs> right, right, right. Uh, and I see it as a gateway into, uh, you know, I mean, it oh, is a absolutely. gateway. absolutely. Right? Yeah, giving an inch to any of those delusions is the reason why. Um, I think so many people are participating in it. Like, you know, you look at like the 1950s and shit. Like, I don't think there's more, I don't think there's more pedophiles now than there was back then or people with those urges, but people actually offending. I think there is because, you know, back then, yeah, sure. People were molesting kids and all that stuff, but there's nobody they could just talk to about it and just be right. like, yeah, this is normal. But man, you got so much soft core shit like the VTubers, like you're bringing up. And then, you know, these groups online, like the dark web, and then, you know, places like on Telegram where they can just get in groups, start trading this shit around. Yeah. Like it, it just enables that delusion to be even more and more and more. And then they start doing more and more of it rather than just trying to stop it. And, and somebody said, I, I don't know if this is true or not. Um, obviously, I have a beef with the Kiwi Farms myself, but 
Um, he said, ask about the beef with Kiwi Farms. Fuck them for doxing him, by the way. I, I don't know if that, like, I don't know what happened there, if that's true or not. Um, but somebody in chat said that. That I got doxed on there? Yeah. Yeah, during the EDP thing, like, I, I did get doxed. But, I mean, dude, I've been doxed so many times. I don't even care at this point. <laughs> but, like... I mean, it's it's fine. They're but, known yeah, to be a haven reason, for for uh, sickos as well, by the way. But anyway, go ahead. Right. Yeah, yeah. No, the reason for the docs was quote unquote uh, racism. So uh, um, yeah, I mean, I guess it's a. I mean, I, I can't say they're wrong. So I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> Sounds like a fellow pedophile enthusiast. Uh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> All right, let me go through some more of these. Uh, but yeah, that's that's kind of the history there. And I'm glad we got to bring up the VTuber shit because um, really the reason, you know, if it's an adult-themed anime, whatever, I still think it's weird to give your money to some fat bitch uh, behind well, a cartoon. Well, pretty, like, pretty much if it's... But if it's adult-themed, okay, whatever. But if it's a little girl, little baby making baby noises, I mean, it's obvious pedo shit, right? Yeah, if it's a little baby... Um, they need to be hung. If it's adult theme, they need to be sent to a re-education camp. Yes, and exactly. Yeah. <laughs> There's two levels to it, I'd say. Well, I even said this. You know, it's bad enough to give your money to these OnlyFans thoughts and yeah, uh, and yeah. these whores online, but at least they're real women. Like, I mean, like these are cartoons. I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, There's levels uh, to this shit. I can't excuse that either, but like, it's, you know. It's all disgusting. I agree. All right. Now, let's see. Uh, let's see. I'll play this. Six. Alex is the fastest man in the world. Usain Bolt on Rumble. You should Alex be able to hear this, by the way. Can you hear it? Usain Bolt yeah. who? Yeah, who you saying Bolt who? Well, uh, I mean, it's 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 true. I mean, the video <laughs> evidence is there. So far, I have lost zero races this whole year. <laughs> you really do have some speed for size. Like, holy shit. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, uh, also, uh, Rick Harrison said, uh, Aston, he's talking about Ashton Parks, uh, co host of the uh, Kino Casino, or the Chomo Casino, as we've been calling them lately. Um, hasn't been able to wipe his ass in years. That's actually been told by one of his former friends. I don't know if that's true or not, but uh, that's not, that's not, a, that's not something just made up, by the way. Uh, but um, one of the guy he used to live with. Uh, surfer said that he couldn't wipe his own ass. Anyway, well, I don't know if that's true, but he's culturally appropriating Indians by not wiping his <laughs> Well, they live out in there, Canada. Out there he. They live in Canada, so you know maybe some of that's rubbing off. Oh of them. yeah, I mean yeah. It's pretty much Indians are Canadians at this point. <laughs> yeah, so. that's what I'm saying, right? <laughs> um, now, what's the most fun you've ever had on one of these buzz? Every day, every day. Really, I love. I, I live and breathe this shit, and I genuinely love it. So. Um, the most fun would be getting them to admit to just the worst shit. And I know it's fucked up that they're doing it, obviously. But, dude, the feeling of just mentally mind-fucking them enough to just straight up confess the worst crime that could put them away for the rest of their life, it's, it is it is a fun feeling, I got to admit. And, you know, so I, I have fun doing that. Yeah, it really does seem like you have a lot of joy in your work. Uh, and yeah. let me ask you this, though. Um, I, I noticed the tactics that you use uh, are similar to the police. Uh, in a lot of ways, right? Uh, like, just tell me, you know, just, uh, you know, get them to trust you, lure them in, kind of. Um, have you studied any interrogation uh, techniques and, um, you know, trust building exercises to get these guys to be dumb enough to, like, hand you their phone and shit like that? Um, not necessarily. Um, however, I have had help over the years. Like I've asked detectives any chance I get, Hey, uh, can I send you this video? And can you give me some tips on what you would do differently? Or like detectives I became cool with, you know, when I get a chance to talk to them about shit, that isn't the case. I'm like, Hey, you know, if I were to get hung up with when the pedo says this, what would you say here? So a lot of them have given tips. I mean, you know, they, they want to see these pedos go away. So they, they're, they're very helpful with it by, you know, kind of giving me guidance and all that type of stuff. And, you know, uh, we have a guy, agent orange that kind of helps us out. We just call him that. Um, he, he, you know, he's given me great advice on stuff, like everything from like hand movements to voice inflection, like all that shit matters. Like it's all like subtle, subtle movements matter a lot. Like if I'm just like, Hey man, what are we here to do? That's a lot different yeah. than, Hey man, what's going on here? You know what I'm saying? So st stuff like that over the years, it gets pretty fine tuned. And then of course doing this a lot. And, you know, I just think that there's a certain level of, I guess, persuasiveness you have to be born with and, you know, I do have a 90 degree nose. I am pretty Jewish. So, I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of built <laughs> in there. Verbal IQ, that's what they say. <laughs> I, 
I like to call it positive subversion. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of what we do. We do some positive subversion. So it, all, all that combined, it kind of you know lets us be pretty good at what we do. But we got a long way to go, and we're not near where we need to be. So and by the way, that VTuber I was thinking about earlier, I want to clarify, Fallen Shadow slash Shondo, uh, for those who don't know, literally one of the sickest things. Like, they make baby noises and, like, act like they're getting off. Like, it's just... Uh, it's a clear gateway into pedo shit and it's, it's it, it, it could either be a gateway or people who are already like into child porn like get, get this you know they can watch it on youtube and twitch yeah. and yep. like i don't understand how it's allowed you know the adult themed vtubers okay i i can say all right whatever you're just an idiot but like i don't see how youtube i mean other than the money um why they allow this type of thing um it, it, what do you think about that question? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll transform it a little bit. Um, is pedo acceptance uh, being more, um, has it become more per pervasive in society? Yeah, yeah I, I think so. I, I hope, like, I will say there's a lot of opposition to it, which is good, but we started seeing the term MAP, you know, minor attracted person, and, yeah. you know, AAM, adult attracted minor. Which, to be fair, I guess we were all adult attracted minors at one point. Like, I mean, shit. But um, minor attracted person, that started popping up in, like, 2022, kind of, with people we were talking to. And that was never around in 2021, never around in 2020, never around in 2019. But that's a pretty common term now. And, it, you know, it's not obviously not accepted, but it's starting to slowly yeah. creep its way in. Because, you know, the first step is obviously just... Um, you know, declaring that you are that, and then you declare it enough times, and then, you know, it just starts to be kind of accepted, which is kind of how everything works with that type of crap. So we have sort of to see that pop up, and obviously with YouTube, uh, they've taken down not only my channels, but they've, well, uh, well, I have a lookalike that does this on YouTube that looks exactly like me and is the same weight and height and beard <laughs> like everything, but, you know, it's not under Alex Rosen's name, so it's not me, that's for sure. Um, but, you know, it's weird. We did get one of our band channel. I mean, I'm sorry. We got a channel that one of my lookalikes had back a few days ago after being banned for three years. I have no idea why. But I will say YouTube is very strict rules against doing this. Like, Rumble. it has sorry, to be done man. in a certain way. And the fact they allow shit like, you know, men in their underwear and all this crap and the VTubers and all this stuff. They allow a lot more with pedo shit than pedo catching stuff. So I do yeah. think there's an agenda there. And, you know, I don't think it's an advertiser money thing. Because, you know, it's I'm, I'm not going to say we fully care about the money. Obviously, I want to make as much money as possible. I mean, this is my job. But these pedo catching channels, they get good views. They get great support. The money is there. If YouTube cares about money, the money is there with pedo catching straight up. But the fact that they try so hard to fuck these channels, it goes to show you they don't care about the money. They care about pushing an agenda. I mean, YouTube has billions of dollars. Who cares if they lose, you know? a couple hundred thousand in ad revenue by nuking right. like 10 of these channels. Right. So it, um, so yeah, well, they're the I number really one website in the world place. behind Google, which they both are owned by the same company. Right. So, right. Uh, it would be nothing to take these people down. Uh, right. it's, it's right. like a, a culture inside YouTube that allows this to happen. I feel. It, yeah. Yeah. It's, but I, you know, I guess, it's weird because you know your friends Revenge of the Sis, my sure. friends, too. and they just got their channel restored. They got their by channel the way, back. so I, love I that. thought there was. I thought what happened is there was like a mole at YouTube who like likes what we do. And I got banned like, too, by the way. I'm thinking about reapplying to get my channel back too, even though it's been five years now or whatever. But oh, yeah, well, we didn't even fucking reapply. They just reinstated it. Like <laughs> and then ROTC got there. So I thought there was a mole at YouTube who was kind of like you know just wink, wink, nod, nod. But I didn't talk to anybody at YouTube. Nobody reached out to me. I just kind of happened. So I thought, wow, this is an exception. But then ROTC got theirs back. And I'm like, what's going on here? I don't know. Um, I guess Susan Susan is getting punished in the afterlife. Part of a punishment is doing things fucking channeled it. I also, mean, it might be they're losing a little bit of, um, you know, uh, market share to, to Rumble and Kick good. and some of these other sites, which they should be, uh, by the way. Uh, even though I don't like Kick, fuck Kick. I have my own beef right. with them. But uh, Rumble especially lets me do whatever I want, really. Uh, Damn, and, same, yeah. and so, um, you know, maybe that's part of it, right? Um, that they're like, hey, maybe we need to loosen up a little bit. That could be. That could be. Because it's not like I've stopped saying nigger and making fun of Indians. I mean, I'm still, I'm doing that even more now. So I don't know what their change of heart was yeah I, that's what i'm saying i don't either but once i saw rotc get reinstated i've been banned 
the Wall Street Journal did a front page article on me in 2018 oh, uh, and got me banned for a fundraiser that we did for St. Jude's Children's uh, Hospital. They treat cancer, children with cancer. I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, yeah. And I so can, I can just hear the accent. Yeah, you can hear it. Uh, and so I'm from Memphis, and that's like my hometown charity, basically, right? And so we did a charity. Now, I had a couple guys on who i didn't know this was going to happen by the way but uh, they disagreed I, I just didn't expect this to occur they disagreed on the holocaust basically <laughs> and so they had an impromptu debate on the holocaust uh now that wasn't my idea but uh i let it go because those were the free willing days right and so it's like okay i let it go and then uh, a couple months later there was a shooting which i denounce all political violence and always have uh, and especially shootings at places of worship. I mean, that's one of the worst things in schools. Like, I mean, that's right, evil, right? right? I, I want to be clear. But there was a, a shooting at a synagogue in Pittsburgh, I believe. Pittsburgh, yeah. Uh, and it's pretty famous, yeah. And so some people were sending some super chats that were, you know, uh, I guess they had some jokes in them or whatever. And, uh -huh. uh, you know, I, my policy back in that day was to read out every super. You notice I have TTS now, right? So right, right, it says right. it, not me. And if I don't want to say it, I don't say it. Um, but I had a policy that I would just read out every super chat. And so there were a couple of super chats about Lucky Larry's insurance policy, 9-11 type shit. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. Uh, you know, tattoos on the hands, uh, you know, stuff like that. And actually, the fucked up part was uh, my good friend Dick Master and made way more like racy jokes on that show and got punished not what whatsoever uh right. but they wrote a front page article they mentioned the the we raised twenty seven thousand dollars for saint jude they refunded every single dollar uh and which makes no sense by the way but right. they, they, re, they? they refunded every single dollar and YouTube deleted all the channels that I had on YouTube uh, because of that front page article. I do have it framed, uh, actually, uh, front page article on the Wall Street Journal. Um, How many that, subs did you have? Uh, I had about twenty seven thousand at the time, so mm -hmm. I probably would, you know, by now I probably would have way more than that. But oh yeah, you, I, you, I would you. imagine it probably cost me uh, at least a half a million dollars, though, uh, in terms of like money that I could have earned. Uh, because even though YouTube takes a fat cut, um, I mean, you make the most money on YouTube. That's just a fact. Um, yeah. So um, unfortunately, <laughs> but that's just an absolute fact. Um, now, let me ask you, um, first off, let me make sure I didn't miss any um, any questions uh, here in the chat. Um, Assmaster says the only map they need is a map to the gallows. Uh, I would agree with that. Uh, yes. Also, they linked your channel uh, here on Rumble. I love Rumble. I know it has its issues, and uh, but every issue I've ever had uh, has ended up being smoothed out. You know, here and there, like it's like, oh, you didn't pay me this month. Oh, okay, well we got you, we got you, we got you. Yeah, yeah, yep, it, it, it's yep. like it, it, it's not automatic. It's, very no, no, it's not. It's not. It's like oh, okay, this uh, my payment didn't go through this month. Uh, what happened? Uh, and so, and I have it on a model monthly. Like you can do the cash out, but I just get paid monthly. So, but anyway, it always gets smoothed out, and sometimes there's some tech issues. But the most important yeah. thing is they let me do whatever I want within reason. Right, right. They're very, they're very open with communication. To yes, they are, which I like, but. Um, God, man, we just, dude, honestly, this is might be a little bit fucked up to say, but we need some nose pierced fucking pedos working for Rumble to get that shit mo moving right with the technology <laughs> stuff because it seems like only pedos are good with technology with fucking building platforms. <laughs> Like we, need to, we, need to, we need to catch a YouTube employee and just Master not blackmail them, not post their video and say, go work for Rumble or else I'm dropping your fucking video. And like, I think it'll all be fixed if that happened. We might need to abduct a few of those, I guess. Maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we, need to, we, need we, we, need to, we need to be positive Mossad, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Assmaster33 says, hey, Alex, my name is Andrew Semitic. Uh, you can call me Andy. Keep making pedos sweat and saying the N-word you're doing god's work um, we'll do it we'll do it thank you, thank uh, you. <laughs> 
Andrew Semitic. Okay, thank you, Assmaster. I appreciate that. New Age uh, bringing up the Kino Casino angle again, which I don't mind. But uh, he says, was Alex shocked the Predator brought up Kino Casino as a defense? Um, yeah, I had no idea who he was. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to say, yeah, like, it, was bizarre. it was bizarre from the start. You did know Re 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 uh, Review Tech, Rich. Uh, what well, got, what happened one, with you and him? People that just made a fucking uh, shit piece on me during EDP. Why though? Well, I mean, uh, dude, I don't know. I mean, I don't even have an issue with hit pieces. I mean, I think they're hilarious now, especially looking back three years later, see that the, the, all these fucking faggots and anal anal receptive intercourse lovers could not <laughs> cancel us. But you know, dude, at least if you're writing it, I mean, so many journalists are so lazy. Like, dude, if you want to, if you want to ask me about something, or if you want to know why I did this or that, just ask me about it or have me on. Like, don't. Don't just make a hit piece based off selectively edited clips. I mean, dude, I'm willing to come on and answer any question about anything. Like, I, you know, I don't care. But they're just so lazy. And that's not only for hit pieces. Like, dude, even the Gateway Pundit, like, they wrote an article on me crashing a political event. They called me Alex Stein, which I don't look like the guy at all. Like, it, it's so <laughs> there's so much lazy journalism on the left <laughs> and right, good and bad. It's just pathetic. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it is pathetic. Uh, and journals not exactly at their highest uh, rate of esteem uh, these right. days, for good reason, uh, by the right. way. Uh, and it's not uh, it's not just Trump; they suck. I mean, I don't know what to say. Um, yeah. Now, uh, let me ask you this: um, Any plans to? I mean, I mean, it's it's really like an open. I mean, it's 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 a never ending field. Of pedophiles right like you, you could do this forever right um and and there's no end to it um is there any thought of um maybe doing doing it some different ways or or doing some different type of content or or anything like that i mean the pedophiles are never going to stop right? right uh but but have you ever thought of that well the pedos are pretty endless so That's i mean we're saying, not going to stop yeah. bashing them but <laughs> Um, yeah, we, we have, uh, we kind of do some different ways. Sometimes I pose like a father of a nine year old kid. Cause I'm 24, but I can look 35. You know what I mean? So yeah. I pose the father. Sometimes we catch really sick molesters. Oh my God. Oh, like, like you're going to pimp out your child or some shit. Yes. Uh, and those people are always like a step worse than the ones we usually get. Fuck. Um, yeah, there was a guy we caught in, uh, in Indiana named Eric Grow. He drove four hours, booked a hotel, uh, drove all the way from Ohio, and he thought I was a he thought I was a father of a nine year old girl. We had one of our subscribe one of my decoys playing as my daughter, you know, she was wearing a mask and all that shit to kind of look younger. And we had actually one of our subscribers play as the mom, like she did a great job. And um yeah, he on the hidden camera admitted to molesting his daughter and he was about to show me the child porn on his phone and that's when I cut it short and I was like all right, Eric, here's what's going on. And then, you know, of course, the first thing he does is walk back. Oh, I never touched my daughter, you know, because he knew he was caught. But, you know, he ends up getting arrested for child pornography and attempted molestation of our nine-year-old decoy. So he has trial coming up soon, and we'll see what happens. How many cases total? Oh, God, hundreds, hundreds. hundreds. Are you serious? <laughs> so many. Dude, it's crazy. Now, when did you get started? 2019, and we didn't start getting arrested until, like, early 2021 like we we kind of fucked around in houston which doesn't really want to do anything but then again we were immature kids at the time like we were just kind of sticking a camera in their face screaming at them like we weren't doing it the right way either so yeah we didn't start taking well i honestly i'm not gonna say we didn't take it seriously but we didn't start like doing what we need to do doing until, the like, homework to yeah to right. know what how to get these people put in jail yeah. but it's a learning experience i mean you know if we didn't have those shortcomings and mistakes then we wouldn't have learned to become uh what we are now and shit if we're not doing what we do now we are not going to learn to even be better than we are now so you got to keep going that's exactly right uh and um i was going to ask you something else uh i can't remember let, let me look at the chat real quick uh and see yes he is 24 uh some people in chat somebody tell me that uh before and i was like wow i did think you were older uh now i'm actually 39 and i look older than 30. I guess right, with the gray right. hair. <laughs> you can't see me. I'm in black and white. Uh, so that makes me look a little bit younger. But uh, if I shave off the gray hair or the gray beard and uh, dye my hair, I look a lot younger. But uh, Yeah, basically, if you do a lot of cosmetic work, you can look <laughs> younger than you are. Yeah, I understand. I, I, I know that's good. People do it all the time. I know. <laughs> that is correct. Yes. If I, if I did a lot of <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, if I run on the treadmill, I can really be skinnier if I just do it all the time. <laughs> well, I did lose a hundred pounds in the last year. So Dude, I, I actually saw that. I saw that. That's awesome. And yeah. I, I'm down like 30, 35 pounds right now, but we're, we're still working. We got a long way to go. Well, not really 30 more pounds to go. So, yeah. So, well, you're a big, you're a tall guy anyway. So yeah, you, you don't really, your BMI is probably, yeah. Uh, I had a lot to lose. When you have a lot to lose, it's really easy to lose it. Honestly, it just melts off. Um, mm -hmm. if, if you're disciplined, uh, and, and don't uh, break what you're doing. Um, let's see. Um, Mr. Man says you don't actually do anything though. You just make the pedos better hiding their shit for clicks. I don't think that's true. What do you say to that? That's a, that's an anti comment from the chat. Um, yeah, no, that's not true at all. I mean, we have court dates to go to. I mean, shit this month alone, we had court dates scheduled and not all of them are happening. Some get continued. One of them took a plea deal already, but we had court dates scheduled in Ohio um michigan arkansas mississippi and did i say oklahoma already oklahoma and that's just all this month and i got in three of them are the ones in oklahoma mississippi and ohio ohio took a plea deal for 17 years i don't think he's getting better at hiding i mean everybody <laughs> doesn't know exactly where he is for, tw for 17 years now you can look about nathan riggins and chili coffee ohio you can just type in nathan riggins and it'll it'll uh, pop up it's spelled um, R R I G G E N S, and yeah, I mean, three of these are trials coming up, and the other two are like preliminary hearings or whatever. So those pedos that that means that they got arrested for the crimes they've committed. That doesn't mean they're hiding, and yeah, some do get away, but you know, so what? So what? That just happens well, sometimes. And even the cops aren't one hundred percent accurate, but you know, if you really want the pedos to not get away. Go look at our videos where they don't get arrested. I would go to the police department in that area and say, hey, why did you let this guy who admitted to molesting this three-year-old walk away? And now he's not necessarily walking away. Um, he's getting investigated. And shit, I mean, just in the past couple months, we got, I'll just say this year, our longest sentences were, we got a 131-year sentence for a middle school teacher. Jesus. We caught Mark Mallow. We caught him last year in June of 2023. You can look it up yourself. Just type in Mark, M-A-R-K, Mallow, M-A-L-L-O-W. Mark Mallow, 131 years for child pornography and soliciting a minor. Now, Grand, he had another case. Uh, we caught him while he was out on bond for because he got caught the first time by the cops. Oh, but those two cases combined got him 131 years. He wouldn't have got 131 years if it was just one child porn case. But he's he's currently doing the rest of his life in prison. Um, we got a guy, Jimmy Stevens of Paragold, Arkansas, 35 years. Um, you can look that up yourself, too. Jimmy Stevens, Paragold. Um, you will see he got sentenced to 35 years. Um, Jeffrey Rose. This year, he was on trial, about to go on trial. Uh, he had a retrial because he molested all these kids. He was sentenced to life in prison the first time, but we caught him while he was out on like pre-trial release. And we caught him with child porn. He doesn't even end up going to trial. He takes a plea deal for 20 to life, and he's fucked for the rest of his life at this point. Um, i trying to think who else. Kevin Cook in Jewel, Iowa. He got sentenced um, about a month ago, I'd say. He got sentenced a month ago. And he's doing 20 years, and we caught him molesting his five-year-old daughter. He admitted to everything on camera. Jesus he Christ. admitted it. Yep, 20 years in prison. And I'm just naming ones I can remember off the bat. There's more than that. You know what I mean? Shane Chaston, who we caught in March um, 2023 in, in a Kansas City area, Gladstone, Missouri. He just got sentenced to eight years not too long ago. So I can autistically spew off all these sentences we have just off the top of my dome. I can name more, but I'm not going to name more. I don't want to take up too Maggie much time. Maggie DePoy But if you go to our Logos there. page – which do, yeah, do you have a $10, list? But if you want to see the updates, those are free. You can see all the people that we get sentenced. We post multiple sentences every single month. So yeah, there's a few that get away. I would go take it up with those police departments, but we, we have over a thousand years combined of sentences and tons of kids are now no longer around those pedos because in part because of us and other parts because of the justice system. justice system in that area. It's a team effort, but, um, wouldn't have happened without us in the decoy. Well, plus so. the argument, uh, yeah, Mr. Man, he's in here every day. I think he's probably trolling a little bit. But uh, <laughs> just to fuck around, right? He does that sometimes. But um, the whole argument that, oh, you're helping them, you know, teaching them tricks or whatever, um, it, it falls apart. For one, obviously, you just named all the people you got fucking locked behind bars. Uh, but also, um, it's, I mean, scientifically proven right there's studies done on pedophiles like it, it it's like a compulsion they can't stop right mm -hmm. uh and so it wouldn't matter if you put out uh, and you probably have five thousand videos uh, you, you know what i mean like uh five million videos uh it wouldn't matter 
Um, the pedophiles are not going to stop trying to fuck kids because it's like in their DNA, it's in their head. Like the, the, they just never will stop. In, in my right. opinion, I, let me ask you. I guess I could uh, kind of start start winding it down and get these last few questions in here right. uh, from the super chats. I don't want to keep you all night, uh, but um, do you think uh, a pedophile can be reformed? Nope. And I'll I'll say a guy we caught. Um, um, this year, we caught a guy named um, Mark Morgan in Dubuque, Iowa, and he had just got out after doing 23 years for raping a nine-year-old girl. Jesus. Uh, we caught him at his home in Iowa. It was like a two-and-a-half-hour interview, and he just kind of admits to it all. You know, He admitted that he had child pornography. Uh, he down, he, a 71-year-old man somehow found a way to get all this shit on his phone. <laughs> he was soliciting an 11-year-old girl, and he went back to jail for it. He's not convicted quite yet i mean it's only been like five months but it'll happen soon i mean he's not going anywhere so yeah i mean 23 years in prison as a sex offender didn't do anything for him he just came right back out started doing it again and there's a ton of cases of pedos getting out of prison we catch them and they go right back into it like that thad cooper we caught him in uh stafford virginia and also in march no it's february 29th or 28th whatever the last day of february and uh 2023 i remember because we had um because that was the day before trial for uh, Matthew Champion Erickson, didn't. who got 25 years, who we caught in Fredericksburg, Virginia, who's uh, apparently now hiding and getting better at what he does while in prison for 25 years. But um, we caught Thad Cooper. He invited a 12-year-old to his house, and um, he he admits to wanting to have sex with her, all that shit. And he only got a two-year sentence as a result. He got sentenced like, not too long ago, but he's going to come back out and do it again. I mean, just kicking the can down the road. So you totally reject, you know, there are some people um, who, who think they can be reformed nope, or, or there's, there's or there's, uh, right. what was that famous article? I think it was in Salon that uh, they were a pedophile, but they, they didn't act on their urges, right? Like they knew they were a pedophile and they, um, non-offending pedophile, basically, something like that. Uh, I, f I forget exactly what it was, but um the, the virtuous pedophile. This is, that was literally the title of the article, something like that. Like I'm not kidding. Yeah. Um, and so you're not. You, you don't believe that such a thing can exist. Well, I mean, it would be like, it would be, it would be like us liking, you know, females, like you know, adult females, like I did, and then <laughs> never in our lives would we ever <laughs> pursue one or watch porn or at all like never in our lives would we do anything sexual with an adult female that's hard to believe but i'll i mean there is it would no have saved me a lot of trouble alex but uh yeah but uh yeah go ahead okay okay well you, you know that's that's the thing like you know it would be it would be like us just never pursuing a female in our whole lives so i don't yes. i don't believe i mean i guess if they really control themselves maybe maybe it's possible but i have a hard time believing it and I guess if you do have an attraction to kids, you should tell somebody about it. You should declare yourself as that, so you, people want to stay away you. from you. Yeah. But it, it's a it's a it's a tough subject for sure. And while I will say that uh, it would have saved me some trouble, it would have also cost me some great things in my life. Uh, and I have a wonderful son and an another uh, gift uh, that I won't uh, speak of because uh, of. <sighs> things get nasty uh, thin line between love and hate alex uh as you know uh hopefully not too well uh but uh i have a wonderful son and so uh you know as much uh many jokes as i make at the expense of women uh i, I wouldn't yeah. trade them for the world so right. um i want to be clear about that uh and now i saw some things come in here uh and i'll get you out of here i kept it a little bit longer than i planned but uh let me let me see here i want to make sure these get played um, very kind uh, contributions. I appreciate that. Uh, some new people in the chat as well. Uh, now let's see here. Uh, let me make sure I go back. Uh, okay, here it goes. Okay, let's start here. Clouded trigger sent two dollars. This is my view. Up. Yeah. Pedos are depraved psychopaths who will tolerate insane levels of risk for their a hope of twisted rewards. Yes, that that's that's kind of my view. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is to buy Maggie Pablo Chapman. sent one dollars on Rumble. Yeah, this is to buy. Well, he has one of my camera guys. Um, <laughs> he spends half his he spends half his pay on Chapstick. I can assure you. But <laughs> thank you. I'll let him know. All right, HBeb says this. Beb sent ten dollars on Rumble. Thank you for what you do, Mister Rosen. 
Hey, and thanks I, for supporting. We appreciate it. And I know a lot of people. Uh, I know a lot of people feel the same way. Uh, now, this is Anton. And zero NGG sent three dollars on Rumble. For Alex, thoughts on the Diddy trial? Thoughts on Diddy? Well, I mean, I haven't done too much research into it. Uh, I mean, we're busy catching our own pedos, but I mean. I think it's pretty blatant. He's a pedo, and I mean, I hope he names names, but who knows? You know how tw with how twisted that shit probably is. I mean, he might be even be a fall guy. You know, for yeah. all the I, I don't know. It, it's just very. Uh, I, I don't know. I guess we'll see how it plays out. But I, I don't even trust. I, I, my uh, mind's so warped at this point. That I don't even trust if any of it's even real. Like who knows, dude? I, just, I don't know. I don't like his chances of making it to making it to trial. Uh, let's just put it that way. Uh, well, I, I think he actually is going to make it a trial because think so? I think people so are too be the fall people guy. are too awake yeah. about the Epstein shit that I yeah, think it'll be way they, too obvious. I yeah. think they're going to throw a little curveball. But I just hope Hollywood gets carpet bombed. So that's kind of what I think about it all. Well, and there's a lot of big names uh, involved: Jay Z, Beyonce, all these people. Um, no, oh, yeah, I mean, dude, J, J, all these Jay Z Beyond. What's weird is Beyonce actually went to the elementary school that I went to as a kid. No like, oh, yeah, I'm she's kid. from uh, Texas. That's right. Yeah, she went to Parker Elementary in Houston. So that's uh, she went to. She didn't go to my middle school, but she went to I think Welsh Middle School. We played them in football and shit. But you know, she 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 from the hood, man. She from the hood, and she, she probably sold her soul at a very young age. You know, Cowboy know, Carter. Uh, that's what she <laughs> she named her last album actually. Uh, now this is a clip. Uh, I, <laughs> I'll just let it play. We're on Rumble, whatever. We say the N word, so whatever. Champion Bigman sent ten dollars. She e it. If I knew you guys were running around KCMO, I would have bought you guys some drinks. You man, I appreciate it. I don't. I'm I'm sober, but I probably would have needed alcohol to deal with Kansas City Police <laughs> Department, those fucking faggots. But eventually, I did arrest the guy, so I think I'm all right. But I appreciate. I appreciate the support. I do eat a lot. I just don't drink. You know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you're sober absolutely no drinking at all no no drinking no vaping no weed no nothing just i eat a little bit straight too edge more. straight edge straight edge well yeah. you know i can't say the same but i'm straight edge right now uh but i've had my struggles uh and uh so much respect on that honestly uh from the bottom of my heart uh i'd be able to sound mind to do what we do got it yeah you gotta be yeah, and yeah 1k 176 sent 25 dollars on rumble how come in Canada we cannot locate pedos living in our areas? Do you know anything about that? Do they I not have, have a sex offender registry in Canada? The Castro family, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I know the, the sex offender registry in Canada is not public. No shit. Yeah. yeah well, what's yeah, the point of like, even having one? I mean, I guess yeah, so the police right. can know, or like, but it's yeah, for the neighbors yeah, to know, exactly. so your kids don't get molested, right? Like, uh, yeah, I, I didn't know that. Uh, Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, then in Oregon, Oregon only the only the most severe ones are published. So most sex offenders in Oregon are not published. New York is the same way, and I want to say that's all the states that kind of shield the pedos in that regard. But yeah, no, it's uh, I don't see the point of having one either. Well, yeah, I mean that's the whole point is so you know that there's a sex offender living here, and it's like okay, keep the family away, as uh, Kendrick would say. Uh, now. Uh, to use my rap reference there. Now, here goes uh, another one. Oh, wait. Let me see if this will play. Oh, it won't play. Hold on. Let me refresh. I'll get it to play. Oh, there it goes. Now it'll play twice. Tai Chivo sent $15. Can I pay $15 for your guest to do a quick psychological profile of the pedophile Joshua Connor Moon or Joshua Katen Connor? Your pick. Uh, so that... So that would be the owner of, of Kiwi Farms. I, I don't know if you know too much about him, so I'm not sure if you could do a quick psychological profile of him or not. But uh, he is. A, I'm probably a, not equipped for that, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> you probably don't have enough info. Maybe, maybe at, at some point. Uh, but that was a hilarious super chat. So thank you. Um, all right. Uh, there's another one coming in right here. Uh, oh, this is a good question. Doodle Maps sent five dollars. How mean, does Alex pay for all the travel I and expenses have a lot of and stuff? Wealthy benefactor that is also a dark creature of the night. Oh well, that's kind of a sinister uh, back end of the question there. But yeah, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, for example, the cash yesterday was funded by PETA because we caught a um, we caught a person who was jacking off his dog. No so we got like shit, PETA funded that. 
Absolutely, man. Wow. No, I'm just kidding. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you got me, dude. Like, I thought that was real. Okay. All right. Go ahead. No, no, no. Um, dude, I will say it comes from having the best supporters in the world. Like, you know, we worked our asses off for – we worked our asses off for a long time without making too much. There's a lot of risk involved. I mean, dude, a freaking broke 20 year old travel, tra- traveling all the way to Nebraska, 17 hours to go get this pedo that might fail. Like, you know, we took a lot of risks and we, we uh, came through on those risks that we took traveling a lot, you know, spending a lot of our money and, you know, we were dead broke for a while, but you know, people saw the work we put in, people saw the results we get and people support accordingly. And, you know, we don't just say, Hey, give us money and we, we're going to do this. We show people that we are going to do this. We have done it. And this is how you support us. And, you know, people see that we don't fuck around with this stuff. Like, you know, we don't drive around in any, you know, hot rods or any of that crap. We don't spend our money on shit. We don't need to be spending our money on. Like we, you know, we take their support and we let people know that this is what it's going to. And we show that almost every day. So I think that's how we can pay for it. And we have a lot of people on our locals page. That's our, that's our bread and butter. Uh, they pay between five to $10 a month. And you know, if a lot of people are doing that, just chipping in a little, it can, can really bring a lot. So. Yeah, that's up. That's how I make a living yeah. too. Uh, and so, uh, I want to ask you this cause I tweeted out twice. Um, and, and I'm going to cut it at uh, six 30 Eastern, by the way, just All a right. few more minutes. Um, Jimmy Carter yesterday, uh, I saw you tweet this out twice. What in the world, were they thinking wheeling out Jimmy Carter, who's been in hospice care for two years, by the way, mm-hmm. and they wheeled him out, and he's literally like this. <laughs> like, I mean, he's like clearly not even conscious. His mouth is, they don't even bother to close his mouth. Yeah. And his son makes a statement to the press that he doesn't care about his 100th birthday, which was yesterday, by the way, uh, and congratulations. Uh, but... He, he wants to vote for, for Harrison Walls. That's what he really cares about. Uh, first off, I don't think Jimmy Carter would have wanted uh, that image of himself out there. Uh, whatever you think right. about Jimmy Carter, I, I think that's uh, exploitation by his family. But regardless, uh, I don't know. Your your thoughts on that? And who would win in a fight between him and Joe Biden? <laughs> well, oh, no, man. I mean... I guess Jimmy Carter probably would lose. He doesn't do a really good job yeah. hiding his chin. It's um, true. kind of just out in the open to get clocked by Joe Biden. It's true. And I don't know. I mean, I think Joe Biden would probably win because the person playing as Joe Biden is probably a 40-year-old man. <laughs> who's just going to skin suits. I bet a 40-year-old would clobber that little fucking piece of shit, Jimmy Carter. <laughs> But um, but what a disgrace to the presidency! Like I mean, why drag him out there like that? I don't dude, know. Man. I would much rather have Jimmy Carter in there doing nothing than Donald Trump or Kamala Harris doing anything. Swear to God, I I, I, I actually, as a matter of fact, <laughs> so we're going to vote this year. I'm actually writing in Jimmy Carter. I mean, he only did four years, right? He can, he can fucking go in the door again. I mean, if Biden's still around, I mean, fuck, he's a hundred. What? Who's to say he can't hit 104? I mean, might Dude, as well I, try. Kinda, I kinda like Joe Biden a little bit. I Probably. mean, I don't like the whole thing that he touched his daughter, but no, I don't like that either. No, he's, he's but, I mean, he, he, he's, he's going to hell, but I mean, <laughs> Dude, if you look at if you look at his clips from the nineties, I mean, dude, Joe Biden was legitimately racist, and yeah, you know, no, like, was. and you know, when like a Charlie Kirch and all these fucking faggots bring up, like, oh my God, Joe Biden said that he doesn't want his kids growing up in a racial jungle. I'm like, no way, did he really? Holy shit, I might vote this year, but you know, obviously, <laughs> he doesn't seem like that anymore. <laughs> Joe Biden was actually kind of based back in the day, uh, and I, uh, love him. I think he gave the eulogy at. Uh, what was it um bird senator bird from west virginia's uh funeral who was a yeah. k- 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 Klu Klux Klan uh grand wizard we're on youtube uh, we're on youtube ethan you don't have to have the ptsd that keep coming over you from like <laughs> sorry i'm covering my mouth there i don't want to see me saying it <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and he talked about what good friends he was with Strom Thurmond, who was a segregationist, and all this and that. It's like, uh, okay, um, Dude, Joe Biden. Joe Biden needs his own cue thing. Instead of "Here comes a storm, here comes a Strom," I mean, I would so be behind that shit. <laughs> all right, let me play his last tune. I'll get you out of here and let you promote your right. promote your stuff. Uh, I really appreciate it, uh, and thanks to Merce as well uh, for yeah. And by the way, we talked a couple years ago before you like fully blew up. Uh, and I was going to get you on and just my own 
idiocy. Uh, I didn't follow back up on it. And you gave me your number and everything's like, yeah, I'll come on, I'm down. And I just didn't follow back up. And then once no you worries. blew up, once you blew up, I was like, oh, now I'm going to look like a bitch, right? Like, oh, no, right. I'm going right. to look like a bitch hitting him up now. So I didn't. And then I reached out to Merch and I was like, you know, I, I know you go on their show a lot. Uh, and so I was like, you know, you think you may put in a good word so I don't look like such a fucking asshole, uh, right, for not hitting him back up. Uh, right. And so he did that, and I want to want to give a special shout-out to him, and he's always been great to me, and I, oh, yeah. I, I really Same. love that guy. Uh, so uh, I'll play these last two, and then I'll let you promote your stuff. All right. Clouded Trigger you- sent $2 on Rumble. Who would you rather meet? Hitler or Prince? Now, that's an old Killstream question. Uh, it's like that- Prince the Artist? Prince the artist, the singer. Now they're both dead, of course. So it's a metaphysical uh, yeah. uh, theory, uh, you know, p- p- position here. But uh, it's it's an old question on the kill stream. It's been asked of at least five hundred guests on the kill stream. Not all two thousand or however many we've had. But somebody invented. I think it was Terry J. I forget who it was. And invented this question: Who would okay. you rather meet, Hitler? The dictator. Um, well, he was elected at first, but. Um, Hitler or Prince the artist? Well, as a Jew, I'd want to meet the person who killed Hitler. You'd want to meet the person who killed Hitler? Mm-hmm. Well, that would be Hitler. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's right. That's all right. right. All right. It That's took me right. a second. That's my answer. <laughs> All right, one more, and then I'll get you out of here. And thank you for being ge- generous with your time. A Smaster 33 sent $2 on Rumble. You're all right, Alex. From now on, every time I say something anti-Semitic, I'll whisper except Alex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, one more popped in. Hold on. Anime sucks cope, and Sneed sent $7 on Rumble. What's Alex's opinion on fat furry fart porn? Especially of fat female scalies? Uh, I would imagine probably not very high opinion, but yeah, do you think that's like my one exception to like only fans? <laughs> Look, now, if you're looking at it, if you're looking at a squirrel getting a nut and that's a little bit different than watching a man get a nut with a female. Okay. No, it's all just a gay and disgusting. And if I was, if I was dictator, I would throw all of them into some type of camp for watching any type of pornography. So yeah. You think porn should be banned? Oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I used to be, dude, I used to be like a libertarian before I started like catching pedos. <laughs> But traveling the country and just seeing how dumb people are, I'm sorry, man. The whole live and let live thing doesn't really work anymore. Like, people are just too stupid for that. Like, yeah, maybe back in the day. Like, back back when the country was first formed, yeah, absolutely. But, dude, there's just too ma- too much dumbing down that's happened. And uh, the smart people need to start really – the good smart people, because there are smart people in charge now, but they're just evil. The good smart people need to really bring – you know, the idiots to the forefront, make them the good, useful idiots, because, dude, we are so fucked. Well, you know, I used to have the same position as you, and I, I still hesitate to say, man, because of that, of that old thought, right? You know, that libertarian streak, I guess. Um, but that being said, I know how much damage porn can do uh, to your own mind. Uh, yeah. and, and there's studies that one just came out yesterday about how it affects the young mind. I watched porn when I was a young kid, uh, and, um, there's definite scientific proof, uh, that porn, uh, warps your brain, uh, towards sexuality and relationships with men and women. And it's like undeniable, uh, basically. So, yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's societal poor, it's societal poison. Um, I don't understand. I, I can't, I cannot. You know, I'm just not okay with it being allowed. It really is poison. It does ruin relationships. Um, it makes it, it makes pleasure come unearned, which I think is a terrible thing. And I think that's way, I think that's a huge problem with our society. Just pleasure in general is just so easy to get, and pleasure is something that you should work for. And yeah, I, I think it's I think it's poison. Pleasure without reward, without working for it, right? Yeah, without. Right. And essentially, yeah, and, and you know, I know, I know, my fellow white men have uh, been at the forefront of it, but. <laughs> You know, it's it sucked, but we're gonna turn it around. I hope so. We'll see. Oh, so too. I think I think minds are changing about it a little bit. Uh, now we'll see. You know, people still like their their gun cave stuff, but um, you know, I used to be one of those guys too. It's like, no, you can't ban it's free speech. And you know, the older I get, and my own experience with it too. Uh, it first off, it's a super time waster. It just wastes your time, wastes productivity. Oh, yeah. um, but it, it warps um, the things that that. The, the way you think about sex uh, and 
Uh, it can definitely change uh, what you're into, and especially you're talking about, um, you know, we're talking about adult pornography, obviously child pornography, you know, there's no question there, but um, even adult pornography will warp your brain. The more that you ingest, the more you're, you're willing to do this and that, it warps your relationships, uh, ruins relationships, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, I've seen it happen uh, firsthand and secondhand and thirdhand, right? Uh, and so it can definitely uh, fuck some shit up. So yeah, I'm, I'm definitely coming around uh, more to your thought. Now, how do we ban it though? That's the next question. Uh, so. Yeah, no, it's, e it's, it's, it's easy to point out problems problems but it's not yeah. too easy to find a solution to them so that's what we've got to figure out i don't know that's right uh now promote your stuff and thank you for spending so much time with me absolutely thanks for having me all thanks for being receptive um our rumble page is predator poachers p-r-e-d-a-t-o-r -E space p-o-a-c-h-e-r-s if any of my people are in here just plug the link if y'all could and uh yeah follow along we post tons of videos um you will have no shortage of stuff and yeah, we are only uh, about 3,700 people away from 100,000. So, wow. Yeah. So, let's get to uh, 3,699, right? So, join up on Rumble. It's free and just press that follow button. Obviously, you know, cost nothing. And uh, yeah, stick around. We'd like to see you on there. Thank you so much, Alex Rosen. Debut appearance on the Kill Stream. Hope to have you back sometime. Yeah, absolutely. All right, 100%. Take it easy. Thanks have a good all. weekend. Bye. All right. Bye bye. Thank you for watching this clip. This is Perspicacity. Remember to like and subscribe.